inside the pansy. Right here? Sure. All right, it's a pansy. I have been a teacher longer than I've been a farmer. I'm kind of learning right along with the children, and I bring what I've learned to the school garden to where we get to learn together. The pre-K program we have here is really led by, you know, uh, a small number of dedicated teachers who make it what it is for the kids. With small children, you've got to address the whole child. So Farm to Early Childhood Education Program allows kiddos the opportunity to incorporate knowledge in a lot of different ways. And one that I think is most important with early childhood is sensory experiences. If you can get them to touch and feel and put their hands in the dirt, I think that that engages them on a different level and makes them able to retain information that they've learned better in the long run because you've um, incorporated all of their senses. They really learn how to teamwork. They learn how to teamwork. They learn how to share. They learn where their vegetables come from. For me, it's also really important to note the social emotional learning components of gardening, especially in schools. Um, you know, kids come out here and they know to be gentle. They know, um, you know, not to pull up plants. You know, they talk, they come out, they talk to the carrots really nicely, like they're babies. Just being in the classroom with them, like the kids are super jazzed to be out here and be walking in the garden and labeling things in the garden and eating things from the garden. Like this kid just came out here and like took a bite of cabbage. Like how, he was just like, I want to take a nibble of it, you know? Like they're, they're, they're intrigued, they're interested. We're piquing their, um, their interest in this subject and I think that's where it starts. Teachers interested in getting involved with the Farm to ECE program, I think, should first contact their extension office. Since they're going to be familiar with the program, they're going to be familiar with local resources for gardens, and they're going to be able to work with you no matter what your experience is. That's what I would say to get started. And then just continue your education. It's really an experiment all the time. We're not always successful at something new, but I think most of the time when we try something new that we'll see that we could try it differently next time or we can see the value in, in uh, the effort. Or a sweet potato. Sweet potato. It's a sweet potato. This has been one of the most exciting years I've ever had all summer. It was so much fun watching them dig into the ground, planting seeds, watching them grow, and then being a part of actually creating something. Because they knew, they said, we did this. I said, yes, you did. And I think teachers will see that the, the joy and the absolute beauty and what the kids get from it, from feeling that they have really accomplished something. We would like to take what we've got now and incorporate art and science through garden art in our outdoor space. So this is really just a starting point for us. We want to make sure that we take baby steps so that it doesn't become unmanageable. But I think we've got the buy-in to really um, uh, use the garden as a learning tool and be an example to other schools who want to also utilize their outdoor space. Trey, did you take a bite out of that? You did not. You did a little nibble. Is that a word?